Joining me is Alexander Voltz, contributor to skynews.com.au, writer for The Spectator, and Evelyn Ray, Sky News presenter and regular commentator on this show. I mean, Evelyn, uh, picking on the supermarkets when this government is itself driving up costs, especially by importing 540,000 migrants in one year, that's rich. Yeah, look, I'm sure nobody's going to be riding their pigs to work. Ham can only go so far. Perhaps this is this is his Marie Antoinette moment. Let them eat pork. But look, everyone loves a scapegoat. Someone can pin the problem on instead of themselves. The governments are experts at this. And while supermarkets have been, you know, getting a few extra cents in their pockets for a long time with prices, like you mentioned, Andrew, this is one small cog in the machine machine and it's really not going to make a difference. If the federal government of Australia were in charge of the Sahara Desert, in five years there would be a shortage of sand. That's what we're dealing with here. I think it's generally true of all governments. I think there's very few things that they touch that are better off for in the end and sadly there are lots of families struggling at the moment and this Marie Antoinette moment was just kind of rubbing salt in the wound. Yeah, Alexander, I mean, seriously, there is a, a real attempt now to scapegoat supermarkets for problems largely caused by other factors like government. Well, Andrew, I just don't really get it, to be totally honest with you. Does Senator Watt seriously think that when he records that Twitter video, Australian people are sitting at home nodding their hands, thinking, you know, hmm, hands off our ham. I, what about hands <laughs> off our constitution and hands off all the other things that the government has interfered with and continues to interfere with um, at, at the moment? I just, I don't know. I'll take your word for it that ham is at a good price. Uh, I think everyone's feeling the cost of living squeeze at the moment, but I just, is this a quality of statesmanship that we have in this country at the moment? Hands off our ham. Yeah, Thanks, Senator Watt. Fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, by the way, look, uh, here's first the reminder of the yelling today by Attorney General Mark Dreyfus at Sky News' Olivia Kaisley. A reminder, here it is. And I will not be apologising for acting... Do not interrupt. I will not be apologising for acting... I will not be apologising for acting in accordance with a High Court decision. Now, Evelyn Ray, you know that if Tony Abbott had yelled like that at a female journalist, Scott Morrison even, this would be a massive scandal on the ABC and the media left. This would last. This would be lasting for weeks. What would Labor say about oh, this now? Do you think? <laughs> Look, I think if it was Tony Abbott or it was Scott Morrison, we'd be seeing Me Too. 2.0 movement starting all over again. We all know it. And I think that's the problem with this. It's the hypocrisy. Because let's be honest, I don't buy into any of the feminist movement rot. Look, if they want equality, they're going to get equality. I think at the moment, like a lot of these feminists want special treatment, but I don't buy into that stuff. I think that men and women are different. I think that if any uh, politician was to speak uh, to a female journalist who was on the wrong side of the political spectrum, that like I said, it would be World War III on the patriarchy. But here is just a perfect example of the double standards that our country in our political spheres seem to have and possess. It's all they have, actually, unfortunately. But, Alexander, just picking up uh, something there uh, that Evelyn was uh, hinting at, I'll come back to you on this, uh, Evelyn, but, Alexander, does it actually matter that Mark Dreyfus yelled like that and wagged his finger at a female journalist as it just happenstance uh, equality, female, male, uh, you talk to them uh, alike, doesn't matter whether you're rude to a female as opposed to a man. Is there a sexist angle to this, really? Well, I'm not actually so sure, to be honest with you, Andrew. I watched that clip, and I also watched that clip with my girlfriend. She's a pretty good marker for these sorts of things. And we actually didn't have a problem with the way that the Attorney General addressed the question. We thought his response was firm and perhaps understandably so. What we took issue with was 
uh, the actual content of his answer. You know, again, here is another of our statesmen talking about upholding the rule of law and uh, being a minister for the crown, when at the same time this fellow has an assistant minister for the republic working to remove the crown underneath him. So when we talk about double standards, I think we should also throw in there that the Albanese government is displaying a hypocrisy never before seen in Australian politics, and everyone has got to get better at calling that out. Evelyn, what do you make of it? Uh, did it offend you that he yelled like that at a woman? Look, I, I totally agree with the previous comments. Like, I, as a woman, I watched it and I thought, you know, I was in the police for nearly 12 years. It's a man's world in there. And, and to be honest, there were far worse things said there in front of women than what I just saw um, on the news. And like I said, it, if people want equality, they should expect equality. But like I said, this feminist movement and, and how we're expected to feel sympathy is all about special treatment and not equality. Um, I think that, you know, that there should be respectful discourse with all political discourse, with all debate, with all conversation either side. I didn't find it too disrespectful at all, to be honest. And I would be pretty annoyed if someone was interrupting me while I was trying to answer a question as well. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Evelyn Ray, <laughs> uh, Alexander Foltz, thank you both so much for your time.